It's low carb cocktail time. I'm Frank. Let me say this now. Don't eat Tide Pods. You're an idiot if you do. Today we're gonna be making Jello shots. Now, just to have a little fun with all the stupidity going on in social media with the Tide Pod Challenge, let me say this now. Don't eat Tide Pods. You're an idiot if you do. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a Jello shot with three different Jello colors to kind of resemble that Tide Pod look. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you're gonna need is a green Jello. That's gonna be the base of the Tide Pod. If you've seen the Tide Pods, you get that green base, the little blue and the little white thingy on the top. So we're gonna start off with using a sugar-free lime Jello for our green. The next what you're gonna need is a blue and a white Jello. Blue is gonna be a blue raspberry or a berry blue, usually it's a blue raspberry flavor of Jello. Now, couldn't find a sugar-free version, but they do have some out there. So this version is gonna have, um, oh, I got the math right here, it's gonna be um, four and a half grams of carbs per ounce. Um, so it's pretty high in carbs. We're only gonna be using a half ounce of this Jello. So we're gonna put one Jello shot at two and 2.25 grams of carbs per shot. The next thing you're gonna need is a white Jello, with so the white side of it. And I was looking around, I was gonna use an unflavored gelatin, but I figured, what's the fun in that? So, keeping it fun, I found this uh, from Royal Brand. This is Disney's Frozen. This is their Summer Berry Punch. It's a white Jello, or a white gelatin. I'm gonna call it Jello and get uh, like sued by Jello or anything. So we have a sugar-free lime Jello. We have a blue raspberry Jello. And this one, again, it's not low carb, but it's, it's pretty low in general by itself. It's gonna be 1.25 grams of carbs per ounce. We're using a half ounce, so it's gonna bring it just over a half a gram of carbs, 0.625. Now, this is a multi-step process. You can't just like throw these in and be done with it because we're gonna be layering it. We'll put the green in first. That'll cover the bottom, like the bottom of the Tide Pod is green. Then after that's solid, we're gonna pull that back out. We're gonna put the white jello on top, tilt the cup. So then the jello, the white jello is only on one half of the cup. Once that gets hard, we'll pull that out and we'll do the same thing with the blue. We'll put the blue on the top of the green, tilt it over into the white, and that'll fill our jello shot cup. All right, so that's it. Let's go ahead and get started by putting our water in our cup. Like I said, we're gonna start with the green first. Now with this recipe, we'll be using one ounce of the sugar-free lime jello. Um, across each cup and then we'll be doing a half ounce of each. So I did use two packets of the lime jello just to make sure I had enough. So I got two cups of boiling water here. I'm gonna put that in. Go ahead and give this a good stir. Make sure this is all dissolved just like a normal jello. I am good. Now like I said I am doubling the recipe on the box because I'm using two boxes. So that will be two cups of boiling water, two cups of cold water. So we're gonna cut that second portion in half with, uh, with vodka. So we're gonna do one cup of cold water. And one cup of vodka. All right. We'll be using Svedka today. Uh, because I'm not using my good vodka for this, and uh, it was cheap today, it was on sale for like 11 bucks. And on the Jello Wild, I saw that Svedka makes their own Jello for a Jello shot, or so their own brand of gelatin, I guess you'd say, for your Jello shots. All right, so that's that. I'm gonna pour this into our measuring cup. And then we'll put this into some plastic shot cups. Now I have some two ounce cups. We're gonna fill them halfway with the lime jello, the sugar free lime jello. It is low carb. It is the low carb cocktail show. So let's see, let's go with, let's see what we get out of that. I got plenty more left. Should be able to make an easy 10. I'll make a dozen. 
a little aggressive. We should be good on that. We're just gonna fill these in there about halfway. We're gonna eyeball it. In a two ounce cup, we fill it halfway. That's about an ounce. And there we go. I guess, like I said, this is the Tide Pod looking shot. This is not a Tide Pod shot. Do not eat Tide Pods. I can't say that enough. And I said in the beginning, if you do, you're an idiot. We're just gonna make a jello shot that looks like a Tide Pod. So now we're gonna have to put these in the refrigerator until this just gets solid. And then we'll pull it out, and then we'll put the white, and we'll put the blue, and then we'll be moving on. All right, guys, see you in a little while. And we're back for part two. Now that the green jello has hardened, we're gonna go ahead and add the other colors. <clears throat> now for the white, the directions box was one and a half cups of hot water, one and a half cups of cold water. So we're gonna do one and a half cups of the boiling water. That's one, and there's the half. There we go. We're gonna stir that up until all the granules dissolve. All right, so next will be another cup and a half of the cold water and the vodka combination. So it'll be, we'll do four ounces of water, four ounces of vodka, that's the one cup. And then we'll do a quarter cup of each again. Two ounces of the vodka. Two ounces of the cold water. And there we go. Let's stir this up a little bit more. Now, to get this just about right, what I think is gonna work, again, this is all trial and error. We'll see how this comes out at the end, I don't know. As I said, we're gonna use a half ounce of the white jellies. So the only thing I can kind of figure out that would be good to do would be put the half ounce in, put the cap on it, turn it on the side, and hope it doesn't leak out. So we're gonna try that. We're gonna do tablespoons is a half ounce. And that's looking like this. Some of these I should have measured out the green ones. There we go. I'm just gonna kind of eyeball it, I guess. Just enough to cover the green. All right. So we're gonna see how this works. We're gonna put a cap on these. And the picture on the box made Jello look white, and apparently it's clear. So I don't know. We'll see. Maybe next time we we'll use vanilla pudding. I don't know. That might work. Let's try one on the side and see if they leak. No, oh, but that's gonna be perfect. And enough to do the blue on the other side of it. I take another one. Yeah. Oh, this I I think this is gonna come out pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna put these in a, like a baking pan just so they stay on our side nice and tight. And uh, let me go grab one, I'll be right back. So the attorneys on our side, stack them so they stay. All right, so we'll put these back in the refrigerator for about another two hours and then we'll come add the blue to it. And after we add the blue to it, then uh, another two hours and we'll come back then and see how the jello shots go now. Yeah. I turn around, see, it's daytime now, and by the time I'm done, it may be nighttime, so the background might be a little different. So that's it. So we got step two of our Tide Pod Jello shots. Once again, don't eat Tide Pods. You're an idiot if you do. So we're gonna pour this in here, the little space that we made by standing it on its side. And you get it right up to that edge. Try not to go over, because then your blue's gonna cover the white, then you won't have that Tide Pod look. So, there we have it. We're gonna put the tops back on these, and then put them back in the fridge. So I guess I learned a couple of things about this. I so said this was my first time trying this. So yeah, there were some mistakes that I learned from. One is uh, let the base jello sit a little longer, number one. 
That's probably the biggest one. And secondly is, um, I think the white jello is a little too warm to be put on top. So we're gonna put these uh, blue side down. Put these back in our tray. Okay, so we're gonna put this back in the fridge. Um, we'll probably get back to this tomorrow. Um, it is getting a little kind of late, like y'all saw earlier in the videos, it was daylight and now it's not. <clears throat> I had to go to my job. But um, like I said, we'll check this tomorrow and uh, we'll see how they came out. Okay, and we're back. So let them sit overnight, let that blue set, and uh, kind of looks like Tide Pods. Uh, if they had a more opaque or white flavored gelatin, um, it probably would have looked a lot better. A couple of them came out really good. Um, this is one, I don't know how well you can see, um, but it's blue, uh, clear, but since it's clear, you see right down to the green. So, uh, not bad. So just for a little fun, um, go ahead, have a Tide Pod Jello shot. Do not eat Tide Pods. I can't say this enough. If you eat Tide Pods, you're an idiot and you deserve to be in a hospital. So, instead of eating a Tide Pod, as if you're of legal drinking age, have a Tide Pod shot. So let's run down the carbs on the Tide Pods. The Tide Pod shots, I don't know what the Tide Pod carb count is, because you shouldn't eat them. So on the Tide Pod shot, we have the, let's swap my, my list, the Lime Jello is zero grams of carbs. And that's gonna be one ounce in here, so no carbs in the sugar-free uh, Lime Jello. The next is we're gonna have the blue. The blue is 4.5 grams of carbs per ounce. We're using a half an ounce in each shot to be 2.25 grams of carbs. And the white is gonna be 1.25 grams of carbs per ounce. We're using a half ounce. So that is 0.625 or 6.685. It was just it's under 0.7, under three quarters gram of carbs. So when you take the 2.25, and let's just go ahead and round up the, uh, the carb count on the uh, blue to, let's call it three quarters gram of carbs, but it is less than, that's in between a half and three quarters. We're gonna round up just because we can say this shot has less than three grams of carbs. All right guys, y'all have a great day. Don't eat Tide Pods, you're an idiot if you do. Have a Tide Pod Jello shot. Y'all have a great day.